In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to customize the frame that's used as the image for the beginning of a chapter when you begin to produce your video and create a disk menu. The default is for the frame that's right on top of the chapter to be that one. For example, if I go to my chapter room with these three clips, I'll click on that. And just for fun, I'm going to insert a chapter at the beginning of each clip. That will give us three chapters. So I'm going to start there. And obviously, that's not the only way to create a chapter, but we'll do this for exercise. Now, what's happened is chapter one now starts with the first frame of this clip. Chapter two, the first frame of this clip. Chapter three, the first frame of the third clip. If I drag over, I'm going to see those three pictures. So the initial frame where the chapter mark is, is the default picture. A lot of times you say, I don't want that. I want something else. How do you change it? Let me show a uh, simple way to do that. All you need to do is highlight the chapter you want to modify and then move your playhead anywhere in the project. It doesn't even have to be uh, within the chapter one limits, although that makes sense. And I'll move it to this frame here. And with this highlighted, I'll click the fourth icon from the left, which has set the current frame as the chapter thumbnail. And now you notice that this, this frame here is now the thumbnail for chapter one. I'm going to click on chapter two, and that starts with the first frame of that segment. And I'll make it one where we see more of the river here. And so this is one we're using. And so I will go ahead and with this highlighted, click on that frame. And that one changed. Then I'll highlight the third one. And let's assume that we want the uh, close-up of the rushing water to be the image for the beginning of the chapter when we build our disk. And I'll click over here, and it's changed. But you notice you, I could even click over back in this section here with this highlighted and use the same tool and now I made an image from the middle clip as the header for the third clip, which is normally what you wouldn't want to do, but I just did it to show you it is indeed doable. And then when you go ahead to uh, create your disk, when it goes ahead and, and it will look for the images that you picked here uh, to uh, distinguish your chapters. Uh, so if you... Uh, Go into your menu structure here. If I look at chapter two, uh, my chapter two image is going to be the one with uh, more of the river here than the first one was. And my chapter three is going to be the close up over here. And we have other tutorials on how to build this menu, but uh, this just helps you figure out how to change the image before you get to this step in CyberLink PowerDirector.